moving on uh, to our senator in Texas. The race here is between Ted Cruz and Colin Allrad um, and the Libertarian Party candidate, Ted Brown. Again, we're not going to talk about third party candidates. We're going to talk about Ted Cruz and his history as U.S. Senator. In his time as Senator, he sponsored 105 bills, uh, including bills to prohibit the use of drones to kill citizens of the United States within the United States. Didn't think that was a problem or something that needed to have a law passed, but okay, I guess that's a priority. He also sponsored bills to increase coal, natural gas, and crude oil exports. He sponsored bills to uh, permit states to require proof of citizenship for registering to vote because apparently people who are not citizens voting in elections is a huge problem that Ted Cruz is working to address, which it's not. Uh, He also sponsored bills to amend the Federal Election Campaign Act of 1971 to eliminate all limits on direct campaign contributions to candidates for public office. That sounds crazy. We want to put more money into politics? Like Citizens United wasn't enough? He had some significant highlights while he was senator. Uh, He's still a senator. Uh, But he played a leading part in the 2013 government shutdown over funding for the Affordable Care Act. That's fun. Cruz also ran for president in the 2016 Republican primaries. I forgot how well Ted Cruz did in the 2016 Republican primaries. He got 7.8 million votes. He won 12 states. However, after losing overwhelmingly to Donald Trump in the Indiana primary on May 3rd, uh, Cruz suspended his campaign. Cruz continues to challenge the results of the 2020 presidential election. He supported efforts to overturn the election results in key states and objected to the certification of Joe Biden's victory even after the January 6th attack on the Capitol. That's cool. Um, his policy going forward, again, we're, we're covering his, these candidates' stances on the economy, on uh, immigration, and on uh, health care and abortion. He opposed the Inflation Reduction Act that Joe Biden passed, specifically the allocation of $80 billion to hire up to 87,000 new IRS agents, which is so frustrating because every dollar we spend on the IRS makes America money. Having IRS agents with good funding for good lawyers means that IRS agents have the capacity to be able to go after large people, large like tax Uh, avoiders the less agents that they have and the less resources that they have the the more they have to go after easier targets who aren't able to hire armies of lawyers if the irs has more funding they're able to go after targets that owe more to the irs and so every dollar spent on the irs makes america at least two dollars it's insanely important to fund the irs and it's insanely stupid to advocate against funding the irs and it really kind of illustrates exactly who ted cruz is beholden to uh he also authored legislation in the uh, national defense authorization act for fiscal year 2024 to fund the construction of four new bridges across the u.s mexico border i guess that's a kind of positive thing and just very generally continues to fight epa regulatory overreach okay Maybe the EPA should regulate companies that are polluting and destroying the environment, but you do you, Ted. On the topic of immigration, he co-sponsored the SAVE Act, requiring proof of U.S. citizenship to register to vote. Like I said, non-U.S. citizens don't vote in any number that could be statistically significant on affecting the outcome of any election in the United States. So that's silly. And he sponsored the Protect Kids and Parents Act to keep immigrant families together after they cross the border. So that's good. Against family separation. I feel like that might be the bare minimum, but that's a positive thing, I think, from Ted. On health care and abortion, he consistently voted against pro-choice legislation. That's from his own website. Um, applauded and supported the Supreme Court's decision in the Dobbs case that uh, removed Roe v. Wade and co-sponsored the IVF Protection Act. So he is for IVF, which many abortion advocates are not, uh, which is super important. Uh, uh, IVF is a super important tool for people who struggle with fertility to be able to have children. But that's Ted Cruz. He also, like, it's crazy to not bring up the Cancun thing. He seems, he's real famous for that now. During that terrible winter storm that we had where, like, hundreds of people 
died in Texas uh, due to exposure to extreme cold weather uh, and were without power or clean water. Ted Cruz up and left the country to go to Cancun on vacation because he didn't feel like dealing with the problems that we specifically created. Like Texas is, if you weren't aware, on its own power grid. We would have far more reliable access to power if we were not on our own power grid and instead work to incorporate ourselves into the national power grid. Um, Texas Republican legislators have resisted movements in that direction for years. And people dying in terrible winter storms is kind of a direct consequence of that. So that's Ted Cruz. Colin Allred. Seems cool. He was signed by the Tennessee Titans. This is where Hunter needs to be back in the chat from Tennessee. He graduated from UC Berkeley of uh, School of Law in 2014 and served as the Dallas Fort Worth Regional Director of Voter Protection for Battleground Texas. Battleground Texas is great. It's an organization that specifically is trying to flip Texas to be blue. He served as U.S. Representative for Texas's uh, 32nd Congressional District uh, that's like in Dallas from 2018 to the present day. During his time as U U.S. Representative for the 32nd uh, Congressional District, uh, he co-sponsored the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, implementing several changes to federal mental health systems, school safety programs, and gun control laws. That sounds positive. And he sponsored the John R. Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act to restore and strengthen the 1965 Voting Rights Act and require states and jurisdictions with a history of voting rights violations to seek federal approval before enacting certain changes to their voting laws. Sounds tremendously positive. Policy. Uh, on the policy side, economically, there's not a whole lot of detail on his on his website, but he was endorsed by the AFL-CIO, which is a huge, the American Federation of Labor um, is like one of the largest, most powerful unions uh, in the country uh, and certainly in Texas. Uh, and so it, it's a big deal to be endorsed by such a, a big union. He was also previously endorsed by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, though, which is less positive. He is not currently endorsed by the U.S. Chamber of Com Commerce. They like Ted Cruz better because Republicans are usually better for the kinds of people that the Chamber of Commerce attracts, uh, which is to say rich people. He also increased access to job training, uh, and he voted for the Raise the Wage Act, which would have, if it had, if it had passed, um, increase to the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. On the immigration uh, side of things, he voted for the American Dream and Promise Act, which would make 4.4 million dreamers eligible for a conditional permanent residency or temporary protected status. Dreamers are people who were brought into the country illegally while they were children. Uh, oftentimes, like people who categorize as dreamers didn't even know that they are illegal immigrants until like border patrol, like ice shows up at their house and sends them back to Mexico where they've never lived their entire life. He is continuing to be committed to hold employers accountable who knowingly hire and exploit undocumented workers. Sounds fantastic. He fought to keep border communities secure uh, by ensuring law enforcement is equipped with the training and tools that they need. If that's your thing, that's your thing. Like I said, greater enforcement on the border leads to greater criminalization of crossing the border illegally, which leads to greater demand for cartels to smuggle people across the border and take advantage of people. So I'm not super for increased law enforcement on the border, but if you are, maybe you are. His uh, policies for healthcare and abortion uh, are that he voted for the Inflation Reduction Act, which capped the price of insulin at $35 and capped out-of-pocket expenses at $2,000 for seniors and allowed Medicare to negotiate pres prescription drug prices, which is fantastic. Brings the cost down on Medicare for prescription drug prices, brings the cost down for consumers um, who participate in Medicare. Capping insulin at $35 is life-saving for, for people with diabetes, and capping out-of-pocket medical expenses at $2,000 is great. Uh, like I said, Kamala Harris is talking about exp expanding this policy to all Americans. He's also committed to restore and protect women's reproductive rights. That sounds important to me. And committed to holding ph pharmaceutical and insurance companies accountable for price gouging and denials of treatment and increasing access to mental health services. Those sound really positive. I don't know what that means. I, I wish that he was more specific about this. But yeah, that's Colin Allred. He is the Democratic Party candidate for uh, U.S. Senator, which is super exciting. 